How are Alberta's elected representatives dealing with the growing threat of Western alienation and indeed Western separatism? One of the questions I set out to explore here at the Freedom Talk, taking on the challenge of Western separation, hosted in Red Deer, Alberta. We've had speakers from all sides of this, but what's been most interesting is that on this key issue impacting all Albertans and many Canadians, in fact, there has been basically no representation of elected officials at the conference. Yes, hundreds of people there, but only two MLAs. I caught up with one of them, Drew Barnes, who's a United Conservative Party MLA from Cypress Medicine Hat, and asked him what it is that he's hearing from his constituents, and more importantly, where he stands on the question of separatism and what needs to happen in this pursuit of a new deal for Alberta. This is what my interview with Drew Barnes looked like here in Red Deer. So the topic of independence, obviously the one that's being showcased this weekend, at the conference, a lot of frustration from Albertans and broader Western alienation going on. Uh, where do you stand as an MLA on that question of Albertan independence and what it would look like or should look like? Oh, well, I'm very, very much at the beginning. I've, I've heard from so many Albertans, so many Cypress medicine hatters. There's real fear out there right now. Um, hundreds of people in Cypress Medicine Hat not working, not working to full capacity, knowing full well that their families and their friends are unable to, to contribute and prosper and, and, and help each other. Uh, Albertans have wanted to be a strong part of Canada for a long, long time. Albertans have wanted to be leaders. And, and there's a huge amount of frustration now because of, of the blockage of our good oil and gas producers, uh, because of the slowdown of, of our economy. At the same time that landlocked states are doing fantastic, at the same time that the demand for oil and gas is growing we are suffering under production curtailment in Alberta because of, of our Canadian partners that are, aren't allowing our access so I'm here to with 400 other Albertans I'm here to, to learn about what's being said to learn more about the issues and, and to listen and learn what are you hearing from people is it that you know we want to make this work or is it that you know what we're ready to throw in the towel on confederation well thank you for that question it's kind of all over the place i i'd say you know maybe 25 or 30 percent have been filled they've been working on a, a stronger more independent alberta for a long time uh 25 or more years uh back through the reform party movement and and there's some frustration there with them there's many people that say to me canada gets one last chance to uh let us prosper and let us share uh, there's many that say under no conditions do, do they want to leave Canada, that they, that they think we, we need to continue to work and, 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 and expand our case. And, and I'll say this, anytime Albertans, anytime Canadians are talking, we're winners. We, you know, gr great presenters here, great ideas, uh, great input from the crowd. Uh, everybody here is learning something, working together, and uh, it, it'll make Alberta stronger and, and hopefully Canada too. What would you need to see from Justin Trudeau? And I know it's a bit of a loaded question, but what would you need to see to be confident that he's actually listening to concerns from the West? Oh, pipelines, uh, access, uh, like, and, and get out of ventures that are purely private, like buying, buying pipelines. Uh, start talking about the strength of Alberta producers, Alberta families, Alberta communities, you know, Saskatchewan and other parts of, of, of Canada as well. Um, you know, it, it's a story that's been said many times, but, but it is the story. Canadians are the best producers for safety, social and environmental jurisdictions. And, and, and Trudeau has to recognize that. Secondly, uh, from a longer term thing, we, we need a federal government that that lets us be more independent, more local decision making, more in charge of, of growing our wealth, of helping each other, and and uh, and you know Justin Trudeau just hasn't shown that uh, that he really understands what Alberta is about. If you don't get that from the government, you don't get that buy-in from the federal government. Is separation on the table for you? Well, at this point, I, I'm just going to keep listening and, and learning and talking to people. Uh, I've, I've, I'm grateful that I've represented Cypress Medicine Hat. I'm just at the start of my third term now, so I'm grateful for that chance. I absolutely am going to listen to, to all my Cypress Medicine Hat constituents, 53,000 plus. But, but my vision has been the same for Cypress Medicine Hat and for Alberta in all my seven years. Alberta should be the freest, richest jurisdiction in all North America. Third biggest oil reserve. Uh, we're such great agriculture producers. Producers. We have such great people, and um, I think that uh, you know that that we have to uh, work with our Canadian partners and work with the Canadian government to make that happen. Is that always going to, in your view, be working from within Confederation, though? 
Well, I, again, I'm going to see what, what the direction that, uh, that Albertans want to go on, what Cyprus medicine hatters want to go. I'm grateful that uh, Premier Kenny just uh, appointed me and, and seven or eight other people to the Fair Deal panel. And uh, I'm really pleased that hundreds of Albertans have already reached out to me with their thoughts and their ideas and their direction of how we can get a, a fairer deal, uh, a fairer deal from the rest of... Uh, Canada and our partners and make makes sure that we can prosper. Let's start there. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, he's not waving a flag for separatism by any stretch, but he is saying there's a line in the sand that needs to be drawn and deal breakers that need to be set out. This is what Alberta will be pursuing as it demands a fair deal from Canada. For True North from Red Deer, I'm Andrew Lawton.